As soon as we get in the building, we play uh, with millions. We uh, love in the chill and we have a feeling we have to talk. DJ Cortez, talk. Cortez talk. These niggas, they go free, they blind. No shit uh, me, they with the fuck. Uh, we all with the fuck. We in my community, you still the same joke, mom. H&M recently published an image of a hoodie that they were sponsoring They had an African American child, you know, modeling a hoodie And can you guys can tell by the thumbnail It says, the coolest monkey in the jungle Really? That's cool? Now, people are saying, oh, they just need sensitivity training They didn't know any better It's an accident People have been calling black people monkeys for decades, if not centuries. Calling us monkeys has been a fucking insult probably since we were in this country. There's no way in hell they did not know what the fuck they were doing when they published it. That's clear white supremacy right there. There's no way you can say that wasn't racist. This is the problem. A lot of people are like, oh, you know, millennials are too sensitive. You know, this generation is too PC. No, that's bullshit. That's blatant racism. And it's not okay. It's not funny. Ab above just, you know, the company thinking it was okay to publish some shit like that. The parents who allowed their child to model for that hoodie should definitely be at fault. Definitely take an L in this situation. You know, modeling jobs usually about like $1,500, 2000 to do a photo shoot for children and things like that. So, somebody came up to them. Say, this is what your child's gonna wear and they say oh we get a thousand dollars you know at what cost are they child's you know dignity or, or just the image that they put out to for millions of people to see putting their own people down for some money couldn't have been my child we just basically just sold out or cooning or whatever you want to call it for two thousand easily dollars and the crazy thing about it is you can't say this is racism because they had a white child that was sponsoring another hoodie. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to put out the image of that too. But it said, um, I, I can't remember, but it said something about survival, the fittest and all that. So you want to put the subliminal image out there that black people are monkeys. We're cool, but we're monkeys. But the white kids... Are the survivors and they're the best they're the tarzans of the jungle whatever i'm gonna put out the image because i really can't remember exactly what it is but come on like you have these college educated people i would assume in a room brainstorming ideas and they're like you know what this is a good idea let's call this child a monkey that's definitely what's up there's no way people could possibly misconstrue this there's no way somebody be like hey that's fucking offensive yeah, we're not gonna think about that. So that's just why when these companies are like, this is offensive, you know, we're sorry, we didn't mean for it to come out like this. If normal people like me or just anybody else can literally recognize that, whether we're screaming racism when it's not there or not. What the fuck, like, why are you there? There's no way you want me to assume these people are dumb enough but they didn't know that was offensive. And this is the problem with us as people right here. When these companies do these things, we complain on social media about it. We talk shit. We say, oh, fuck, practice or whatever we do, all that. But what do we do? We still put money in these people's hands. We still buy their clothes. That's the fucked up part. Materialism is probably the biggest folly in the black community right now. Materialism. We put money in the people's hands that don't fucking like us. They look down on us. You know, I could be outside, I could be out, you know, in the city somewhere on the block, and somebody would be like, I can't stand fags, or like, I don't like gay people, they say some homophobic. Well, really, they, I turn around, like, ain't you wearing some Robin jeans? And they'd be like, yeah, and I'm like, you do realize most, you know, heads of like designer clothes companies are homosexuals, right? Not only that, they're white. 
So if you're gonna talk down on gay people, just remember that a gay man probably designed your pants. Most of these people who buy all these clothes and stuff from, they're actually racist too. Like they, they never intended for this. I'll give you a prime example. I know a lot of people that were Tams, and I can't even lie. Like I'm, I'm a victim too. I do a lot of this. People who make Tams, what do you think that rope on, on your boots represents? Now, I'm not saying I'm the type of person that's gonna blindly go out and buy these things for anything else because I know people who wear like $200 sneakers and shit, have like 2,000 pants, I mean, yeah, dollar pants, like Balenciaga's, you know, Margellas, all that shit, and they still live with their moms. I think the reason that is, and in this country, black people are so brainwashed that we feel like we're not shit. So if we get expensive ass clothes, and you know, they say clothes make the man or whatever. We get all these designer clothes, maybe that makes us feel better, it's insecurity. So what I say to that is, if you're gonna complain about these companies, they put out this racist shit because they feel like we're not gonna do anything on it. They feel like we're still gonna buy these clothes. These niggers are still gonna support us. So these apologies they give don't mean shit. It really adds more insult to injury because they want us to assume that they're that dumb or they're that naive that they don't know any better. So I say we boycott companies like H&M.